Hey, so welcome back everyone. On this episode, what we're gonna be dealing with is, um, last year at Reef and Palooza New York, um, we had a segment dedicated to reef nutrition and particularly Chad Clayton came on and gave us uh, basically a lowdown on the product line from Reef Nutrition. Well, this year at the Orlando Reef of Palooza, I got a chance to meet up with Chad again, and he went into his um, the product by Reef Nutrition called Tigger Pods. He also shared some interesting facts about Tigger Pods that I wasn't aware of and how product development has come along. So before we get to Chad, let's hear from Lou Shivo from Worldwide Corals regarding uh, Reef of Palooza Orlando for next year, and also Reef of Palooza New York. Hi everybody, my name is Lou Shivo and we're here at Reef of Palooza 2018 in Orlando. I want to let you guys know next year we're going to be moving it to a new venue, the Renaissance at SeaWorld. It's going to be the weekend of the same weekend, April 7th, 6th and 7th, 2019. It's going to be the Renaissance Orlando at SeaWorld. As you can see, the floor plan is selling out quick. Um, we're going to have information in the next few weeks online about how to uh, get to the hotel and how to get your rooms and how to get your tickets. So stay tuned to Roscoe's Reef and we'll see you guys in New York. June 23rd and 24th. Hey everybody, my name is Chad Clayton. I'm the Life Feed Supervisor with Reef Nutrition. I work for a company called Reed Mariculture. We are a large scale marine phytoplankton and zooplankton farm in California. And today I'd like to talk to you about copepods. Um, there's a lot of people in the reef aquarium hobby that uh, buy animals that require live feeds, such as mandarin dragonette, seahorses, and pipefish. And so uh, a little over 10 years ago, we decided to bring copepods into the hobby so that those animals uh, could have a, a diet that was adequate for them to uh, maintain a, a longer lifespan in the aquarium and also to improve the overall health of those animals. And not to mention the improve the overall diversity of the aquarium. Uh, adding copepods in the aquarium is a very good thing. They get into the nooks and crannies of your rocks and gravel and sand. They, uh, they eat diatoms, they eat all kinds of other things like bacteria and algae and, and organic waste. So, so you can call them a little bit of a cleanup crew. Um, and then uh, as they break down organics, uh, the protein skimmers and everything else strips that stuff out. And so it's a, it's a very good animal for the overall ecosystem. And so I just wanted to uh, let everybody know, all of our listeners and customers and stores know that we are now adding 50% more copepods uh, per bottle. So these are our tigger pods. This is Tigriopus californicus. We've been culturing these guys for a little over 12 years now. They are native to the um, west coast of North America. So you can find them all the way from Alaska down to Mexico. And uh, we, we are very fond of this animal. It's a very hardy animal, can tolerate a wide variety of salinities, wide variety of temperatures, uh, can handle high ammonia, low DO. So it's very much an animal that we like to work with in aquaculture. And it's a, it's a great copepod for people's reef aquariums and refugiums. And you can also culture this yourself in a separate container like a bucket or, an, or a small aquarium. So copepod farming has never been better. So we decided to add 50% more copepods per bottle. And as you can see there, there's a lot of activity, a lot of red coloration in these animals. They tend to store a lot of carotenoids. They're notorious for that. Um, they also have good things like fatty acids, vitamins and minerals. They get all of this nutrition from the phytoplankton that we feed to them. And so you're looking at a wide variety of sizes. You're looking at females and males. A lot of the females are gravid, carrying eggs. So if you wanted to start a, repro uh, start a culture of your own, you've got females that are ready to reproduce. So, um, so yeah, we're very proud to announce this, adding more copepods per bottle, making it, uh, making it more economical for everybody. And um, we look forward to hearing from all of our customers about their uh, experience with Tigger Pods. And, and we'd love to see uh, photos and videos of your, of your mandarins or seahorses. So check us out on Facebook. And for more information, you can check us out on reefnutrition.com. Uh, and um, once again, my name is Chad Clayton. We're here at Reef of Palooza. And it was uh, nice chatting with you guys. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always don't forget to like, 
comment, share, and subscribe.